hey beautiful people thank you so much for joining me i made this soup with some lentil and i just want to share with you the process it was so delicious and i hope you give this a try you will definitely love it okay so to start with i soaked some lentils overnight because it takes a while to boil soaking it overnight to make it very soft so I put it in my saucepan and then I also bought some kettle. This is all to quicken the cooking process. I'm also adding in some onions, some carrots and some tomatoes. Um, if I had not soaked the lentil overnight, what I did um, was to boil the, the lentil to a certain point before adding all these veggies. Okay, so that I don't overcook it. But if you soak it, it cooks really fast. Now... Um, I have with me here some beef and then some intestines from goat meat, okay? So I'm going to squeeze my orange juice in there and then wash it. When I washed it the first time, it was too bloody. The water was just too cloudy with, um, clouded with blood. So I decided to pour it and wash it again for the second time, still squeezing in some lemon juice. I just love how it feels in my hands and all that infusion is just so good <laughs> and of course I'm using my clay pot I'm just excited to use my clay pot so I put my meat in nicely my washed meat in nicely and I want to work it through my spices so these are stock from basil mint and parsley okay so these are the leaves I took the leaves of the stock to dry and use for my um, my dried herbs so i just put this in my oven for under low heat for some few minutes and then i have this powdered form okay that is my dried herbs but i didn't want the stock to go waste so to that i added some onion some ginger and garlic plus some scotch bonnet pepper blended everything and what i do is to put them in my ice cube containers cover them and freeze them okay and then once they are frozen i'll just take all of them out put them in my bags and anytime i'm ready to use i just use some for my dishes so i did this the day before i have enough in the freezer now and then i'm pouring some over my meat then i'll add in some turmeric and ginger powder and some um, local spice blends i have all these recipes as well on my channel and then some seasoning cube i'll also be very generous with the salt this has to be the saltiest part of your soup okay so once that is done i checked on my my ingredients and they are all cooked nicely the lentil tomatoes everything is cooked to perfection not overcooked and so yeah we'll set that aside and then continue now i'll be stirring my meat from um, time to time okay yes and this i didn't add any water to this all the juices that have been extracted are from the meat and then the spice blend so basically that is that the aroma in here at this point boy so so good and as you can see i'm just enjoying my clay pots always good to cook in this okay so i have with me here my homemade tomato sauce also on this channel as you can see there's, there's, there's still a bit of ice in there because i took it out of the freezer no longer ago so i added that to my meat covered it and you know let it cook for a while then i'll go ahead and blend all my ingredients my lentil um, um, onion carrots and tomatoes okay and i'm adding it to this lentil is not so much of a popular ingredient um in, in a Ghanaian local market it is not a Ghanaian thing i tasted lentil soup in a turkish restaurant and i loved it i i tried replicating the recipe it went well and so i'm localizing it now i'm i'm making it a Ghanaian <laughs> the way we make our Ghanaian soup but in a lentil way and at this point the thickness depends on you if you want it very light you add more more water okay if you don't want it very light you just regulate it so again i'm just boiling some okra on the side to 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 Ghanaianize this to africanize this so this has been boiling for a while as you can see everything um, our meat was already cooked and then the veggies were cooked as well so combining them together i just needed a little time to boil over and then simmer so at this point the fire under this soup is 
off and i always enjoy this boil okay after it is off so you can add in some basil or some you know scotch bonnet pepper at this point i added scotch bonnet pepper um <laughs> um off camera I, I i i didn't get that part so i'll just go ahead and serve this with fufu okay and this fufu i made the powder i made the plantain powder i made the cassava powder and i made a fufu <laughs> i'm so proud of myself i know <laughs> And the amazing thing is that I made all of them without a dehydrator. So please watch that recipe. Check that out, okay? You will stop buying Fufu Fly. You're going to save some money. Um, as I mentioned, lentil is not so popular on a local market. You may not find one, but you may find it with, in the shops that they sell those seeds, you know. Those who sell, like, yeah, seeds chai seeds all those sesame seeds you are likely to find some lentils are very healthy and so if you find them incorporate them in your dishes and you will love it you will just love it thank you